All right, so here's our second example. How many different three-digit even numbers uh, greater than 303 can you make using the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6? Okay, so uh, I'm thinking we've got three, uh, it's got to be a three-digit number, and this last one here has to be an even number if the entire number is even, okay? Um, greater than 303, so that means this first one here can't be a 1 or a 2, has to be 3, 4, 5, and 6. Um, what's going to make the difference here is if the first digit is even, that will make the number of ways that we can make the last digit uh, even different. So I think for our cases that we're going to have to look at here, we'll say for the first one, uh, case 1 starts uh, even, and the, for case 2 uh, starts odd. So if it starts even, uh, it would have to start with either a 4 or a 6. Why couldn't it start with a 2? If it started with a 2, then it would be less than 303. Okay, so let's, let's think about our first one. If it starts even with a 4 or a 6. Okay, so we know that this has to be either a 4 or a 6. So there are two different ways to put that. Now looking at this, there are three even numbers altogether here. We have three even numbers and we have three odd numbers. We've just used up one of our even numbers, either the four or the six. So when we place our even number over here, now there's only two numbers left to put there. So there are two ways to do it. Now we can use any number. We can use even or odd. We've placed two numbers. So out of these six now, uh, six minus two, there are four different numbers left so there are four different ways to put it in there. So if it if it's even, it's going to be 2 times 4 times 2. What is that? 8 times 2, that's 16. So for, for the first case, if it starts with a 4 or a 6, there are 16 different ways to do it. How about if it uh, starts with an odd? Now if it starts with an odd, it can't start with a 1. It has to start with either a 3 or a 5. Here, I'll switch to green so we keep track of things a bit better. So we have these three digits here. So the first digit, like I said, has to be either the 3 or a 5. So there's two different ways to do that. Okay, so our last digit has to be even. And there are three even digits, and it doesn't matter which even digit that we use. So there are three different ways we can put an even digit down there. And now we've used up two of them, and just like before, if there were six to begin with, six minus two is four. So there are four remaining now. So six times, or two times four times three, was that eight times three, that's 24. So we have 24 for our second case and 16 for our first first case. I don't think we need another case in this uh, example. Uh, I'm going to stroke out the, the case. One thing that you'll notice that when you do some of these more complicated ones, and this is a complicated one, uh, there's more than one way to do it sometimes. Uh, I think we've captured all the different ways of doing this with our two cases. So our answer is going to be equal to uh, 16 plus 24. So that will give us 40 different ways to do it. Okay, um, let's go over to the your turn. It says, how many different three-digit multiples of 5 are possible using the digits 0, 2, 3, 5, and 8? Okay, so in our previous example, uh, the reason why we had to do cases is because uh, we had to end with an even digit, and so that if we started with an even digit, there were fewer evens to place in that last spot. There's a similar situation going on here, so we have three digits and our last one, if it's a multiple of 5, this one has to end in either a 5 or a 0, right? So we think about all the, the digits that are uh, multiples. I could just start with 5, right? They always end in either a 5 or a 0. Uh, if they are three digits and they're using these numbers, uh, the restriction on the first one, it can't be 5, right? Or, I'm sorry, it can't be zero. If we started our digit, our, our three-digit number with a zero, you know, say zero, two, five, uh, that's really 25. That's a two-digit number, so we can't use a zero here. Okay, so let's, let's consider our two different ways here. If we uh, start with a five or we start with a zero, 
So I'll say case one, or, or sorry, ends with a five or ends with a zero. I'm going to say case one uh, ends with a zero. So um, I'll just change this one a little bit because this was my thinking here. So in my case one, this has to end in a zero. There's only one way to put down a zero. There's one. Um, and now for our three digit multiples of five, when I place my first digit down, I know the zero is gone. So there are one, two, three, four more different numbers I can put down here. So I'll put a four here. And now there are three numbers left. So I'll put a three here. So four times three times one is 12. See if I can erase this stuff here. So we got 12 ways for the first case. So let's try the second case. Is where it uh, ends with a five. I cannot spell to save my life today. So ends with a five. Okay, so we have three spots here and I'm going to put a 5 at the end so there's only one way to put a 5 so uh, looking at these digits here I have just placed the 5 when I place this first digit now I can't use the 0 but I can use the 2, 3 or 8 so there are three different numbers I could put there so now I've used one of those dig digits and out of the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 I've used up two of them and I can put anything in the middle one. So the middle one will also be three. Okay. So this one couldn't be a zero, but this one could be a zero. So instead of that pattern of getting one less, those two numbers are the same. So three times three times one is nine. So my total number of cases is going to be equal to 21. 21 different ways to do it. Okay. Eh, eh, your turn number two. And uh, Hopefully you're doing this like I suggested before, is where you watch it once and then uh, once the video is over, try it again yourself without me doing it. It says using the digits 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, how many three-digit numbers greater than 400 are possible? Okay, so 1, 2, and 3. Uh, greater than 400. Well, the first digit then could either be a 4, 5, 6, or 7. So there is one of four different ways, because it could be a 4, a 5, a 6, or a 7. The second digit, I don't think there's really any more restrictions here. This is fairly straightforward. There are seven numbers altogether. I've used up one of them. It can be anything here, so there are six different numbers I could put in there. There's five different numbers for the last one. So uh, 4 times 6 times 5, uh, where's the one? 120. Okay, so now the second one says, um, how many of the numbers in A are odd? All right, so now I uh, things are a little bit different here. This last number has to be odd, so I've got the three different ones here. This one has to be odd. So you see what's going to make a difference. My first number could have been a four, five, six, or seven. Um, if it's if the first number is odd, uh, it's going to change. Um, things for the other ones. So let's do our two cases, our two cases here. Case number one. If I uh, start with an even, and case number two, if I start with an odd. So if I start with an even number, uh, Put an even number out here first. How many even numbers do I have? Two, four, six. I have three even numbers, but they have to be greater than 400. So out of this list, how many even numbers do I have? Two. So I have two I can place there. I've placed an even number in there. Now it's fairly straightforward. So how many odd numbers can I place here? There are one, three, five, seven. There are four different odd numbers I can put there. I've placed two numbers all together, so out of, out of the seven, so that means there are five remaining. So two times five times four. So there's 40 different ways to do this, starting uh, with an even number and where the last digit has to be odd. Now, what if I start with an odd number? Okay, when I start with an odd number, it really has to be either the five or the seven. 
so my first digit is odd. So there's two ways to start with an odd number and now I also have to have an odd number at the end. And so out of my original uh, four different odd numbers, one, three, five, seven, I've just used one up so I only have three left to put there. Uh, still for the remainder, the middle digit of the seven, I've used up two so there's a five there. So two times five times three, that's thirty. And so for my, all my cases now I have 70 uh, left. All right, and that is it for this lesson. Uh, here is your homework. I will see you in class.